People keep saying Top is irrelevant, but the team that help Top is more likely to win, I feel like. It's not that helping Top wins you more. It's that people have a tendency to just ditch their top laner, let him fall behind, and then top lane can generate so much gold. Like, the Darius got five plates, which, how much does five plates give to you now? 120 times five plus 250 plus, oh, I did, did I do times? Okay, whatever. Plus 250 plus 50 plus 150 first turret. 1,050 gold. Okay, I mean, that's decent, right? More often than not, it's not so much that camping top wins. It's that people overemphasize AFKing on bot lane and they end up camping bot lane so fucking hard that they leave top lane but don't get any good ganks on bot lane. And then they don't even bother to get the dragon and they just do this shit where like they sit in the brush bot lane while I'm getting turret over brush camped or something top lane. I actually did find out they're gonna nerf Sanguine. Yeah, no, it's pretty obvious. But I don't know if that's going to, uh, I don't know if that's going to fix problems with the fucking class it's meant for. They're gonna make it weaker and, like, buff the price. Well, I'm looking at it. It doesn't seem so much that Zed is weak as there are a few picks that just are too strong and he can't do anything. It's more of, like, an issue of, like, basically you're too strong when ahead on lethality because, for example, you you have the winning bot lane. That would make it's sense. 50, 50. Let's say you have the winning bot lane. You're three levels on them. You have so much more penetration than you're supposed to have on bot lane. Let's say they buy armor because it's, it's like two weak while behind. So then they buy their armor and then you're fucking useless because you have less lethality in the mid game than you used to be able to get. Uh, because they, they nerfed all the third lethality options. They nerfed all the upgrades by like seven unless you go Sanguine. And Sanguine's the worst one and it's also situational. So, like, you go Ghostblade, Duskblade. If you were to buy a third lethality, it they only give 10 unless you go Sanguine. Ironically, Rise beats Mages harder I mean, than he beats Bruisers. They're, they're gutting him on PvE. Have you seen it? Aren't they only removing, like, 20... It's, like, 15 damage from his Q? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot, though. Uh, I mean, it's good, but... I mean, it stops him from, for example, just half-healthing you at level 3. I was looking at Atrox's matchups. His win rate against Orn goes down and down and down the higher rank you go all the way into challenger but the gold he gets at 15 goes higher and it eventually becomes at 15 minutes he'll get 900 more gold against Orn but have a 28% win rate against him. So that pretty much matches up with what I keep saying. It doesn't matter how much you beat the shit out of a tank, eventually you cannot hurt them with Aatrox. The problem is the way his current Q cooldown works, it works way too well to bully the lane in the mid game. If they change his Q, it's gonna be another nerf to him, at least to his early game, and really his mid game. I just think his current Q cooldown just way, way too good at bullying mid lane. And yeah, I'm looking at Zed. He's got the uh, hallmark stats of a champion who's good at climbing, but not good at max rank, as you said. His win rate uh, yeah. goes up, up, up I'm until doing, masters, and then goes down. I've been doing unranked the challenger on, on stream. Like, I literally can't lose a game. Like, I'm facing Senna's who are rushing hex drinker against full AD comps. It's like insane how, like, in low elo, they, they just don't understand how items work. Thank God. I don't know why he stayed in lane without mana, but thank God he got punished for being an idiot. And then the typical, oh, and now I have the jungler. Haha, -ha, free reset. It is not hard to triple brittle and Orn. What the fuck are you talking about, Twitch chat? It's literally W alt auto. No, actually depends, depends. It's um, depends which combo you go for. If you Q, like have the pillar set up, like you Q them, they're slowed, you W them, you alt, you can auto, and then E as the second alt for, for the first brittle. E is the first alt lands, and you can still kind of clip the, your alt after ulting, while it's the ram while it's behind you. You know what I'm saying? And then you get the triple brittle. That's actually hard. Uh, I'm sure I, I agree. I play one a bit. I think it's kind of hard. I feel like if the opposing I mean, champion is mobility, sure, but most things are hard to hit on champions with mobility. If they're an immobile champion, it's literally just W alt R. Well, me, yeah, if they're mobile. I mean, most champs aren't a mobile. I feel like the game isn't balanced around it. And mobile champs. That's why Cassio can be like insane and not nerfed. 
Oh no, she's getting she's some most. Oh well, mm, they're nerfing Conqueror, but not her. But they should really nerf her. I actually think Cassio has been overpowered for a while. I oh, feel yeah, like Conqueror sure. is just like attracting attention to it. The problem with Cassio is she can W at like medi like melee range when she never used to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. That recent change completely fucking made that champ unbearable. You know, I just don't understand these rise players. Like you have a rune. The rune literally says you are immune to melee. Pick this rune. It's a fucking cheat code. Beat every melee, and then they go conquer instead. I mean, it's just selfish. It's just greediness. I mean, maybe it's because they're so used to people not attacking them or trying to punish them in the laning phase. Yeah, you do a lot of damage, and yeah, it's scary. But I know without phase rush that my W is gonna lock you up into a combo. Kind of just damage him here. Nice. Well, oh, that's damage. Man, every time I see conquer rise, I just think like, oh, okay, neat, free win. I'm not fast I'm enough to get I'm in moving, here. I'm moving. Uh, uh, we should chase him. I don't have boots. Him. Yeah, but he's got no way out. I'm gonna ignite him as soon as I see him. Oh, oh okay. man. <sighs> Ow. That's balance. One item's in Zhao. Look at you. Oh, wait. Oh shit. I'm I'm coming, I'm gonna be on the left side here. Pike was uh spamming that fucking mastery real hard for a dude that uh died. Playing Pike mid man. It's like the most brain damage mid lane champion. I think end lane phase though. Enemy team like just hasn't laned in a while. Uh, I don't know. Oh, please dive in. Uh, I'm on the way. Oh, they're going for it. I'm 10 seconds away. Almost there. Almost there. I'm from behind. I'll go for the Zin. Woo! Angry Atrox noises. And so no, no flame at all. But like, what happened? You were like, um. Like master almost GM or some shit, and then you fell. Uh, it is, did you play it tilt? Did you play like a lost? Shoot? No, it's just sometimes I feel like the Q fucks you, but I don't. I can't like go and not play, I guess. And so sometimes it's just like okay, you, ju you just lose twenty games and it's just like losing bot, losing bot, losing bot, losing bot. I mean, was that all in a day though? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. You should like, if your account ever loses like, honestly, three or four in a row. Your account's doomed for the day, and like you'll you'll actually have winning and losing days. So what I like have noticed, it's been like a thing for like three seasons now. So if your account's losing a bunch in a row, just stop playing for the day. And switch accounts. Nice. Rises above you. That E almost looks like a bug. That was a fucking long E, dude. Oh, okay. No, you can get over that wall. That's one of the longest walls, but yeah, you can get over it. It almost looks like a bug. Okay. Oh, I know. Okay. Goodbye. Angry Aatrox noises. What does an angry Aatrox noise sound like? That's when his ult pops and you get the reset. Can <laughs> he fucking die? Is it like, oh. <laughs> nice. It's bad. Can you, you guys should go do it. My ult's in 25, I'll guard that shit, Baron. Unless I have Sanguine. And I have a great Baron? I mean, it's better than mine. I... So it's actually one of the worst Barons. Because if you waste all your energy doing Baron, you can't fight. A lot of people don't know about If you just ult his E, he can't root you. He just, he just dies to you. You coming? Oh, you don't even need me. Holy fuck. Seems that way, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, oh, they gave up. Nice. If someone called you a tryhard for playing Mundo, I would laugh. That champion did not do too well in the jungle update. He kind of got blown the fuck out. And I'm not sure why. It seems like it would be good because he can power farm the jungle. But when I look at it and I look at who masters plus people are picking in the jungle, it's all people who can clear the jungle while also spam ganking. Lee Sin, Rek'Sai, Olaf, Elise, Nidalee. The only real exception seems to be Echo. And that... It seems to be more because Echo's so broken, I mean, he fits in, even if he doesn't fit the meta.